By adding grainy shading to your illustrations, you can bring your flat artwork to life with depth and a sought after noisy textured appearance. In this Photoshop tutorial, I'll show you how to create a delicious donut illustration. Along the way, I'll show you my favorite technique for easily painting in highlights and shadows and apply grainy shading effects with the help of my grain shader brushes. I'll also share some useful Photoshop brush tricks for creating the colorful sprinkle shapes. Not to forget the smiley kawaii face, because donuts are cute, right? Begin by choosing a nice background colour for your Photoshop canvas by clicking the foreground colour block. I'm using a pale green of CAE BE2. Use the Alt and Backspace shortcut to quickly fill the canvas. Choose the elliptical marquee tool to draw a circle to represent the overall donut shape. Hold the shift key to keep it perfectly circular. You can move the shape around by holding the space bar before you release the mouse. Add a new layer then choose a doughy beige colour such as EFD 49A. Use the Alt and Backspace key again to fill this area on a new layer. To create the donut hole, right click and choose Transform Selection. Hold both the Shift and Alt keys while scaling down the circular selection. Hit Enter to confirm the transformation, then the Backspace key to make the hole. Go to Select and Deselect to clear the selection. Add a new layer to contain the icing, then choose a sweet pink as the new foreground colour. I'm using F65FFF. Grab the brush tool and choose one of the hard round tips. Open up the brush settings and reduce the spacing to zero. Check the smoothing setting, and then in the top toolbar, max out the smoothing slider to 100%. This will iron out the kinks of painting by hand to create a nice smooth outline. Draw a wobbly outline around the donut, followed by an outline around the donut hole. Then fill in the centre area. Reducing the smoothing value back to zero makes it easier to block in this area without the brush lagging. My favourite way to use my grain shader brushes is with clipping masks. Add a new layer above the donut icing layer, then hold the Alt key while clicking between them to turn the layer into a clipping mask. If you haven't already, download and install my grain shader brushes. These brushes make it easy to add shading and texturing to your illustrations. Choose from 10 brush presets with different levels of grain. They're compatible with the pressure sensitivity of pen tablets, so the harder you press, the darker the texturing will be. Help yourself to a 20% discount with the code 20OFF, or follow the link in the description to have the discount code automatically applied. Reset the foreground and background colours to black and white, then alter the brush size to suit the scaling of your artwork to apply a nice large scattering of grainy texture. Begin lightly shading around the icing, because the brushes are compatible with the pen pressure sensitivity, the lighter you press, the lighter the shading. Switch the foreground and background colours round to paint with white, then apply some highlights within the centre of the donut. You can also use the X key to quickly switch between painting with black and white to add depth to the illustration. Experiment with the blending modes to see what kind of vibrant effects you can create from the shading. Overlay or hard light are good choices. Add a layer above the donut ring and turn it into a clipping mask. Paint with the shading brushes to apply shadows and highlights to this portion of the illustration. Keep in mind where your light source is to apply shading in the right places. Change the blending mode to boost the colours of the shading. I'm using overlay. Create another layer above the background but don't turn this one into a clipping mask. Paint around the donut to cast a shadow with grainy effects. Use the colour burn blending mode for this layer, then reduce the fill amount to around 90% to boost the colour, followed by the opacity to around 60% to reduce its appearance. Add a new layer right at the top of the layer stack, and use a smaller brush size to paint some highlights in white. Change the blending mode to colour dodge and reduce the fill to around 30% so they vibrantly blend with the pinks. To add some sprinkles to the donut, create a new layer and set up the brush tool with a hard round tip. Alter the size to the appropriate size of a sprinkle, then hold the shift key while clicking and dragging to draw a short line. Turn off the visibility of all the other layers, leaving just this single sprinkle on a transparent background. Then go to Edit and Define Brush Preset. Bring all the layers back, then select this newly created brush with the brush tool. 
Head over to the brush settings to change some options. First, turn on scattering and move the slider to around 180%. Under shape dynamics, increase the angle jitter to max so the sprinkles appear in a random orientation. Then under the brush tip shape settings, increase the spacing so the sprinkles don't overlap. Before continuing, use the command or control key on Windows and A shortcut to select all, then delete that initial sprinkle shape. Set up the foreground and background hues with two different sprinkle colours. I'm using a bright yellow of E9DC12 and 1261F3. Clicking and dragging produces too many sprinkles of the same colour, so dab individual sprinkle shapes around the donut. Hit the X key to switch the colours around so you can evenly space out all the sprinkles. Double click the sprinkles layer to add some layer style effects. Add a bevel and emboss effect and max out the soften setting, then increase the size to around 30 pixels. In the shading section, set the opacity of the highlights to 30% and the shadows to 10%. Add a drop shadow next. Set the size to around 20 pixels and take the opacity down to around 20%. OK these effects to give the sprinkles more of a three dimensional appearance. Add a new layer and paint some texturing to reduce the clean appearance of the sprinkles so they match the rest of the artwork. Alt and click to clip this layer so it's only applied to the yellow and blue shapes. You could call the illustration complete here, but you can make anything look cute with a happy little kawaii face. Activate the sprinkles layer and use the lasso tool to select and move any individual shapes that are in the way. You can also press command and T to transform and rotate them into a better layout. Add a new layer then use the elliptical marquee tool to draw an eye. Fill it with black then draw a smaller circle to form a highlight. Fill this with white. Press command and D to deselect and then with the move tool activated hold the alt key while dragging this eye to make a copy. Right click on the layer in the layers panel and choose merge down to keep them both contained on one layer. Draw a larger circle with the marquee tool to act as a mouth. Then switch to the rectangular marquee tool and hold the alt key while dragging the shape over the top half to form a half circle. Fill this with black. Before deselecting set up the brush tool with a hard round tip with a red colour. Make a single click to add a tongue within the mouth shape. Add a new layer below this face layer, then reset the foreground and background colours back to black and white. Set this layer to the overlay blending mode. Use a grain shader brush, but a much smaller size, to paint in some highlights and shadows around the eyes and mouth to give the impression that they're inset within the donut icing. The final result is a cute little donut illustration with vibrant colours and grainy shading that brings the artwork to life with textured highlights and shadows. Using these same techniques you can produce fun illustrations of anything. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.